Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach Rizzo with Bill Box. Thank you so much for joining us today on April 1st. Uh, we're trying out a couple uh, new things here uh, with this live stream. I'm um, sorry if I didn't get the, um, if the link isn't correct. Um, I, 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 was, I was having a little bit of trouble with Restream and getting, uh, getting it to, uh, to work correctly with scheduling an event and using that, uh, making sure that that uh, is the one that gets launched. So hopefully, uh, looks like you've been able to find me okay. So it's looking good. Uh, what's up, uh, uh, video? What's up, Kravas? Uh, What's up, Wooden Pickle Games? Hey, thank you for so much for joining uh, today. I saw you on Instagram as well, so thanks for uh, chiming in. And also a good suggestion on the attract node uh, because that was a good uh, good example of how you can turn um, the attract node. You can make sort of kind of like uh, sort of like smart enemies, right? Uh, uh, with uh, uh, by using the attract node and having them uh, kind of follow the character and stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into it. And I'm gonna show um, I'm gonna show you how to um, how to, I'm gonna show you some of the new features. Hey, what's up, Spice Bean? Um, I'm gonna show you uh, how, some of the new features um, that you can find in Buildbox uh, right now uh, that just came out with between 3.3.7 and 3.3.11. So there's a couple uh, different things. Most of the, the the things that we've released in the last uh, couple releases were um, were bug fixes and making sure that the software is really stable and you have no absolutely no problems at all with the software. So um, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. I'll show you some of the. Um, I'll show you, hey, I'll show you some of the new features uh, with the software, and um, yeah, uh, I can definitely show you later today um, how you can uh, move around with the W uh, W S D and A keys um, very uh, very easily. So I'm happy to uh, happy to show you that. So let's go ahead. Um, let's uh, let's start off with um, let's let's start off with showing you the teleport node. Okay. So um, I have a quick uh, example here. So I'll go ahead and I'll delete uh, the uh, teleport node that I currently have here. Okay, and you guys should be able to see everything okay. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's all working. Um, so, okay, so basically here's what we have currently. Okay, I just I, I'm using my old car tutorial here as an for an example, and we just have this car that is very very slowly you know moving down this path. Okay, so we're gonna add a teleport um, a teleport smart asset, and it is so easy. So all you do is you go to the asset library, you scroll down here, or you go over here to smart assets here, and there's three tabs here at the top. You want to go to smart assets, scroll down. And then you go to teleporters, and then you can either double click on teleporters or you can uh, select it and then click add to project. And it's a really cool, um, uh, so I just clicked add to project and you can see here that teleporter uh, entry and teleporter exit have now been added uh, to, um, have now been added to the game, to my, my menu here. And I'll go ahead now, I'll get out of my asset library, I'll take my teleporter entry I'll put it, you know, right about here or so. I'll take my teleporter exit. I'll put it right about here. Maybe I'll put it over here off to the side. Okay. And then watch what happens. I just drive into the teleporter 
and then boom, I am teleported further away. So super, super easy. Uh, the teleporter node, I love the teleporter node. It looks super, super cool. Uh, you can kind of crack these open and take, take a look and see um, how the uh, node map works. So we've got a nice uh, texture scroller to kind of uh, get those um, get those like uh, those circles moving up and down. And then we've got a cool uh, teleport node. Uh, that is super super handy and you've got your uh, your special effects uh, your uh, entry special effects your exit special effects and your actual uh, you know acid that you're going to be moving into so uh, really uh, really excited about the teleport node please please use it um, I would love to see some really cool games being uh, with the teleport node being used um, so I, I'm excited to show you guys that one um, the next one, so I'm going to take a quick moment here. I'm going to look at some of the questions that we've got here. Um, so wooden pickles, any update on when coin shop, character shop and consumable actions buy and use powers? I know you've asked this one before, uh, might be available in BB3. Okay. Um, actually funny you say that because right now we are going to begin testing some of those features where they're right they're ready they're they're pretty much done and they're ready to be tested um and we want to get some user feedback a little bit first so what we're doing right now is we've got actually a couple new big features that we're going to be releasing and we've got a volunteer form a, a bb3 new feature vol testing volunteer form and i'll go ahead and i'll share that um, or actually Hugh, um, uh, maybe can help kind of help me get the, get the word out about that. I, we're going to send an email out to a newsletter, uh, you know, asking everybody who's interested, uh, if they would like to, um, test out some of the new features. I, I did post a link, um, to the, the Google form, um, on, uh, on discord and the forum. So if you'd like to just go and access it there, I think that would be great. Um, you know, let me show you just real, real fast. Um, I'm going to kind of move the, I'm going to move discord here into the software so that you can see. Okay, cool. So this is discord that I actually have, uh, layered over on top. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to the build box server, go to official announcement. Um, also please do check out these guides. Okay. I have, I just released, we just released these two guides on how to publish to the Google play store, how to publish to the app store. Um, those are fan fantastic guides. I would love your feedback on them. Tell, let me know if you're, if, if they're working for you, if there's anything that we need to change. Um, Okay, but what I wanted to point out was this, the Google Forms. If you are interested in testing out some of the new features, if you're interested in testing out the coin shop, giving us some feedback, if you're interested in testing out um, some of the, you know, some of the stuff that's coming out, I can't say, I can't uh, actually say which features are coming out yet, um, but I can, I mean, I can tell you about the coin shop. You've known about that for a while, um, but um, that, this is where you access the Google Form, okay? This is where you can uh, start testing. Um, and then yes, I'm gonna just say again, everybody, please, um, please use these uh, publishing guides. Uh, to they're they're gonna be a major headache saver for you when you when because it's always tricky when you leave Buildbox and you got to deal with Apple and you got to deal with Google and Android Studio and Xcode and all of that, right? It's always a pain. We're working we're working on making that easier for you guys, but um, right now this is the best we could do. We 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 created a step by step guide showing you how to do it. So, um, and then the last thing I'd like to just quickly announce while, while I'm, he while I'm here, um, uh, Curtis and I are, um, actually, uh, going to be, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and pull up here. Uh, Curtis and I are uh, shooting a new cool TikTok challenge. And I think it would be so cool if you guys all joined in. Okay. Cause this is so, so, uh, uh, so Curtis, um, shared a reference of basically like all you have to do. Right. And I'll just quickly, I'll show you this YouTube video. Uh, real fast. You guys should be able to see it. Okay, you see the way Curtis just catches the phone and then uh, he puts it up and then t tosses it to the side? Okay, so we we want as many boxers as we can to send us that and you can you can uh, submit your video through this Google form here in the Discord official announcement. You just scroll up here. 
uh, and check it out. You can see, you can tell it's uh, the, this one from the uh, Kurt, Curtis's uh, video here. But basically, we're gonna uh, mash them all together, edit the videos together, and it's gonna be a super, super cool TikTok. So we would love for you to participate. So please participate in that if, if you can. Okay, um, so that I'm gonna I'm gonna continue showing you some of the new features of the software, and then we'll jump into some Q and A. Okay, because I know I know a lot of you have questions, and you want to just uh, you want to get some help on your projects and stuff like that. So I'm I'm here for you. Um, so um, okay, so I showed you the teleport node. Now let me show you um, let me show you the uh, the new um, asset uh, the new asset folders uh, um, feature. So okay, so let's see here. I'm going to okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the uh, this is one of the new features. This is asset grouping in the asset panel. All right. Um, so basically, a lot of times in your game, you'll have like a ton of enemies, like a ton of buildings, maybe a bunch of platforms, maybe a bunch of characters, you know, uh, like uh, uh, you'll have like multiple images and multiple types of the same thing, right? You like you'll have a bunch of like different monsters or enemies in your game. And uh, excuse me, I'm a little thirsty. So basically it would be so nice right so so i have a bunch of buildings here you can see on the left here on the left hand side where my mouse is and um basically i'll go ahead and i'll stretch this just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better okay cool awesome all right sweet i think you i think that's good enough okay so you can see all these buildings i've got right here on on the side right well, it would be really nice if I could just group them all together in a folder. So what you do is you can just say, okay, I can select this first building up here at the top, right? And then I'm gonna hold shift down. And this is a new feature too, where you can hold shift and then click, and then it'll multi-select all of these assets. And then you right click, or you hit these little three little dots, and then you can do create group, okay? Then, so you just or you just select um, you just select one of these um, you just select one of these assets and then you uh, you click uh, create group right and then it'll create a group for you then you can draw start dropping all of your buildings uh, into this group folder and I'll go ahead and I'll rename this group folder buildings okay so then I'll hold select here hold shift I'll click and drag all of my assets into buildings and then I'll minimize my folder and then now look all of my uh, like my asset panel has gotten so much more reasonable like so much easier to work with so so this is a super cool feature and it just makes a ton of sense and it's like it's a, um, a just a headache saver for you right like so what you'll do now is you'll be like okay I'll create uh, these are gonna be this is gonna be my points folder so I'll go here and I'll say okay these are all of my points and then I'll say okay great uh, maybe these are gonna be my power-ups right so I'll create another group and I'll select my group folder I'll call this power-ups okay awesome and now I can throw all of my power-ups. Okay, I'll just start throwing all my power-ups here into power-ups. Perfect. Then, okay, great. Then I'm gonna, you know, I'll say, okay, I've got my debris objects or something. Or, okay, I'll say, this one is one of my enemies. So I'll say, okay, let's do create group. Then we'll call this enemies. Enemies. Then, um, minimize that then we'll do debris right and I'll uh, you can right click or you can hit those three little dots and then that will allow you to create the group folder then you select the group folder and then you can rename the group folder and then I'm just gonna name this debris because this is like all the pieces that go flying when the like like when the character crashes so I'll just drop those into debris and then now look how awesome my asset panel looks now look how organized that looks I've got debris enemies buildings points power-ups it is so clean so that is that is what we want for you guys that is that is the so that's a new feature i wanted to make sure that i show you guys because uh, um we um so i think uh yeah i think it would be really um i think it'd be really great if you guys use that to organize all of your all of your features and stuff 
or I'm sorry, all of your assets. Okay, cool. Next, um, uh, next where I'm gonna show you, this one's a little anticlimactic. I don't really know to like, I didn't really know how to show you this one um, exactly because we're technically, we're, a, we're live, we're on live right now. So I need the internet, but the next feature I wanna show you is offline mode. Right, so now you can use Buildbox and you don't have to be online anymore. Thank goodness. You don't remember, like, remember when you used to lose your internet connection and then all of a sudden Buildbox would, you know, would drop off and uh, you would lose your game file and you, like, you know, and then you'd, you'd go punch or scream into a pillow and you'd get all mad. Uh, yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. So now, now you can you can work with Billbox and you do not have to be online. You can be out in the woods, you can be next to a waterfall, you can, which is especially nice for me because I like to, I like to get outside and, you know, to take my laptop around and kind of get out in nature and like, you know, and still work out there. You know, it's kind of nice. It's nice not being cooped up all day. And, and the, just the coolest thing is now you can make video games anywhere. You can like use Billbox anywhere and you don't have to be like tied to a hotspot or something like that. Or you don't have to be, you know, at a coffee shop, you know, connected to Wi-Fi. And, and so I just, I really want to show you that. So I, the only way I could really think to show you was to just like, you know, show you this. I got my laptop here. Okay. And I kind of got to have just take my word for it. Um, I'm, I'm offline on my laptop. I don't have any internet connection on my laptop and, um, I'm still able to use Billbox. So, um, that's kind of an anticlimactic and kind of a weird way to show off that feature. But during a live stream, it's kind of hard to show something, you know, that doesn't, you know, doesn't require the internet. So, um, that, okay. And this, so that is my third feature that I'm showing off today. The very last feature before we jump into the Q and A is another really cool feature where you can group nodes in the node map. This is really fun. So let's go ahead and let's check this out. So, okay. So I have, um, I have, the, I just double clicked or uh, I just went to my main vehicles node map. So what you do is you select your main vehicle in your asset panel and then you can double click on it. And then this is where the magic happens inside of your character. So this is like a lot of the logic, right? So these are the models for the wheels. That's the model for like the main body of the car. I've got, uh, I, and this is what I'm showing you, to, you today. I, you can group nodes like this. And this is this one I have grouped for swerve controls, right? And I'm gonna show you how to group this, uh, group these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click in the empty space, okay? And uh, I'm gonna click in the empty space and uh, I'm going to drag my mouse and you can see a little square is starting to form, okay? So I'm gonna drag my mouse and then the I'm gonna make sure that the square encapsulates and covers and captures these five nodes, right? And then you can see all five of them are selected and that's great. And then I'm going to right click and then I'm, this is the new feature. Um, I'm going to group nodes. Okay. And then look at this. Awesome. I've got a new group here. I've got a gr new grouping of nodes. And um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this um, 3D models. Okay. And so now I know that this is all of my 3D models for my character and I can zoom out and I can move this over here. And the other cool thing about this is like, let's say I wanted to move this node inside of my, inside of, inside of my group. What if I wanted to do something like, you know, uh, wheel one here, wheel two here, wheel three here, and then wheel four, you know, this little group will actually resize for us. And, and isn't that awesome? So, uh, so it'll resize for us and, uh, and, and create like a new, it's, it's just like a cool like stylized group. Then one other awesome thing that you can do with this is that you right click this, right? And then you can change the color. So I'll call this, you know, green, right? And so I've got this now, this cool little green group so I got my green group over here with for my 3D models. I got my red group over here for my swerve controls. Okay, and this, this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these nodes here, boom. Okay, I'll right click, I'll create a group node. Okay, and this is going to be my uh, defeated animation. 
all right or i could just say defeated or defeated animation um and game over um or you know or just i'll just say defeated animation really because i i that i understand what that what that is and then i'll go ahead and i can like you know i can keep these here maybe i can just bring this down a little bit you know so that it's a little bit smaller and we can kind of it just it really it totally changes the way that you look at your node map i i i, I don't even look at the node map the same i'm constantly looking at now how can I like make this and structure this in a way that's going to be so easy for me to like to follow this and read this later? And so I'll do something like this, you know, kind of just get my get my ducks in a row here, and then boom. Okay, cool. So now I've got this really awesome no, uh, node group here, and my entire node map now is set up is, is split up into three logical groups right so um this is just killer it's so awesome i can you know i can even kind of you know even things out a little bit whatever right so like look at this now i've got uh i've got three groups and i'll go ahead and i'll recolor this one to be purple right so now i've got my um my node map this very it was like a really complicated honestly it was kind of like a weird like a kind of a crazy looking node map like it's hard to it was hard it's like hard to follow exactly like okay what does this and what goes to this and where why uh you know how this connects to that and and, and so th like this visually just uh i'm gonna zoom in here so we can see this a little bit better but this visually is just so much easier to follow right like my node map now is just simplified into these three sections and just looks super clean and and when i come back to my node map it's going to be easy for me to follow and if i'm working with a friend i can send them i can send them this asset um uh, you know i can export this bb asset and i can give it to them and it's going to make sense to them it's going to be very easy for them to follow so i'm going to start doing this with all my templates that i make for you guys and all my tutorials i'm going to start grouping things for you so that it's very easy easy to read so okay Cool, I, I, I knocked that out in about the first 20 minutes uh, or so, but that covers all four features uh, uh, that are new in the software right now. And I know it's a lot, a lot kind of like a lot of organi organization features, um, but I mean, heck, I, I, I find them extremely useful and I, uh, I, I love them. So I hope, you, I hope you guys love them too and we'll uh, you know, get, get a lot of use out of them. So just to go over them all again, um, we've got here the teleport nodes. So you can see here we got a car driving into this teleport node and then boom, comes out the other, other the teleport exit. Um, that's one of the features. The other feature is all of this really nice grouping structure in the asset panel. So now I can you know organize my assets into debris and enemies and buildings and, and points and power ups and, and use group group folders. Um, and then uh, offline mode was the third feature. And that one is just kind of self-explanatory. You can use Buildbox now without having to be connected to the internet. And it's pretty awesome. And then the last one is this one where you can now group nodes in a really beautiful way inside of your node maps and just make things look so much more clean. So I hope you guys enjoy those uh, those features. Let's go ahead. Let's move on now to the lightning the lightning round uh, of this uh, of this live stream here. Um, let's start doing some Q Q and A. Okay, so enough enough of me talking. Let's 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 talk back. So um, okay, so um, let's see here. I I need to play a little catch up. Okay, can you show us how to make stuff despawn after we do something to it? Um, yes. Okay. So now I'm going to re I'm going to change your wording a little bit here. Uh, cause I think what you're trying to say is like, like you want to despawn, right? Which is essentially what you're saying is you want to get rid of that thing, right? Uh, you want to, you want to make, you want to uh, like, you want to remove that, that you want to get rid of that, uh, that spawned object after it's been spawned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crack open a brand new uh, BB doc here, uh, just because uh, I, I it helps me to work from scratch. Um, okay, I'm not gonna save my changes. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's grab a little a sphere. Let's grab a cube. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. So this is what I'm going to do. This is going to spawn. This is going to spawn spheres. Okay. All right. Now uh, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to bring in spawn spheres. Spawn spheres. Wow, I can't, that is just kind of a hard. Uh, Spawn spheres. It's hard. It's hard to say that. Like try to say that five times fast. I challenge you. Okay. Um, next, um, uh, I'll just make it purple so that's easy to see. You know. Um, let's get it nice and uh, let's back things off a little bit here in the camera so you we can see things. Okay. Cool. Now here's what's gonna happen. I am going to spawn these spheres and they're gonna be dynamic and we're just gonna drop. Okay, and they're just going to drop to the ground. Okay, let's make sure you can see that. All right, cool. Um, let's go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spawn node, right? And we'll do uh, we'll do a timer node as well, so that it's spawning like it's spawning like every couple like every second or something like that. So we enable the timer. We'll do one second. And we'll do like a ton of events, like a like a thousand bajillion events, and then we'll just name the time format seconds. We'll spawn. We'll choose the spawn asset to be sphere, and then since we don't want the sphere to spawn inside of the cube, well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter if we just get rid of the physics on the cube. Yeah, I might as well just do that. Okay, cool. So I'll go here to start. I'll uh, just get rid. All you got to do is get rid of uh, the physics, right? on it so that when the uh, when the purple or when the sphere spawns inside of the uh, the uh, cube it's not like the collision shapes aren't going to like just immediately collide so um so uh let's go ahead and let's uh let's see this thing so right now it's just going to uh spawn these these spheres <laughs> Jesus, and they, they, they're not even, uh, uh, they're barely rolling. Wow, they're like stacking like perfectly on top of each other. That is really funny. How is that possible? Uh, are they, uh, let's see. Oh, it's probably because they have like no movement or something. All right, well, that, that's fine. I'm going to give them a little bit of, um, uh, I think I'm going to give a little bit of movement or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go into the sphere uh, just because I want to, you know, I don't want them stacking like that on top of each other. That's a little silly. I'm going to give them just the tiniest, the tiniest little jump here. A little little bit of angular, a little bit of angular velocity uh, in a random direction. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And then same thing. I'll just do one, 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 zero. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we should see just a tiny 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 little bit of movement on these you see how they're just slightly slightly moving now that makes a big difference they're not stacking on top of each other anymore okay back to the question so the question is how do i despawn these things right like okay yeah i spawn these things but like how do i get rid of them right so um this is how you do this so basically like there's a couple different ways like let's say let's say you want them to fade away right like this is common i've seen this common right where all of a sudden like after like i don't know like two seconds or something uh the ball just starts like fading away and then just you can't see it anymore right so this is let's just do that let's try that one so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna search for a delay node okay I'm gonna do a delay node we're gonna make it so that um we're gonna make it so that this it delays after one second, okay? And then we're gonna do a color animation node. I love the color animation node. So as soon as we are done with the delay, we're gonna wait one second, then we're gonna start making the, the ball disappear. So we're gonna change the target color here um, to be, let me, uh, can, I, can I make this a little bit bigger? I feel like this is kind of crowded. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna make the channel, the alpha channel here be zero, okay? And what that does is that makes it invisible, okay? Alpha channel zero. Um, and then uh, also, 
Yeah, no, that's. I think that's fine. But okay, okay, the only the other thing I, I I like to do is like I don't like uh, I don't like uh, doing the animation, the color animation where it's starting off as black. Like if we're gonna have a white character fade away, we want it to start off as white and then fade away. So make sure that you change the target color, the basic color to white, and then also make the alpha color zero. Okay, so do the do both do both of those things. And then, and then uh, oops, I double clicked on it. Now, once it fades away, let's get rid of it. Okay, so let's just use a remove node. Okay, so you'll get a remove node. All right. And then perfect. And so now it should just uh, fade away. It should take a second. Okay, so we'll wait a second. And you see how they're just starting to basically starting to fade. And then they and then and then once they fade away. Um, they're not able to hit each other anymore. It's like it's not like it's not like the ball is now landing on an invisible ball that's still there. Like that remove node gets rid of it. Um, and you could you could probably wait like a little bit longer. Maybe let's wait like I don't know two seconds. You know what I mean? So you can see what I'm talking about a little bit better. So they're going to like slow. That you know you can basically you can decide how long you want for them to to live and exist before they disappear and before they despawn. So I, would, I wouldn't say despawn, I would say just like, you know, remove or fade away, or how do you make this kind of thing happen? So let me go ahead, I'm gonna save this for you. So I'm gonna hit Control S on my keyboard. I'm gonna save this doc for you on my desktop. This is fading, fading away spawned objects okay i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna uh i'm gonna share that in discord um real fast so give me a second everybody so i am gonna use the uh for right now i'm gonna use the community live stream channel uh, i know that this is mostly to talk about like live streams that you're doing and those type of things but I did. I just wanted to. Sh I want to. I'll share it here so that you can access it. So I'm just going to grab the fading away. I'm going to drop it in here, and this is from Zach's live stream. This will. This will fade away spawned objects after a few seconds. Okay, cool. All right, there you go. I shared it with you guys. Please, um, please use it if 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 it helps. Okay, uh, next question. Smart penguins, what is new today? Good to see you, my friend. Uh, I'm I'm glad you're here. I know these questions are from a long time ago. I'm still trying to catch up. Um, Astrohound, what's up? What's up, Sebastian? Uh, can you add some go um, go it ver verins? Go it Varens. I don't know what that is. Um, what is Go it Varens? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Go it Varens is. I'm sorry about that, man. If you could ask, if you could ask that again, maybe uh, to uh, maybe Hugh or something that will help will help him out. I'll try and figure out what Go it uh, Go it Go it Varens. Um, like okay, all right. That's I. I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. All right. Um, what's up? Okay. How do you create your own character in uh, your own character in Brainbox? Um, okay. So, um, let's see here. How do you create your own character in Brainbox? So basically, I'll show you this much. I'll show you. So if you want to have a character, like I'll bring this cube in here. This will be my character. Got my cube here in my scene. Whoops, yank it up. You go to your cube. You can go down here to brain box and you can say um, like, I want to, you know, make this character move. I want it to uh, jump, bounce, da I want it to have damage and health, and you can add all of those brain boxes here. If you're asking a question about mobile controls and how to use these four, like the advanced platformer brain boxes, um, I have a tutorial for you. Um, I have a tutorial for you, it's FBX Animations tutorial, and that will, sh that will walk you through 
um, how to use it. So I, I, I'll, I'm gonna give you that tutorial and then you just gotta follow along with that and you'll be good. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Constantine. Um, uh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. I missed a, I missed a question from Deanna Hambard Zoomian. Um, how do you create your own character in Brainbox? Oh, okay, no, I did. I just answered that question. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. So you can't actually create your um, like you can't create a character in a Brainbox, but you can use Brainboxes on your character. Do you know what I mean? You can use Brainboxes for your character. Just follow that FBX tutorial. Okay, Tim McKay, can we create a folder within a folder? I'm so glad you asked this. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple copies here. I just I just like spammed the D button, uh, the duplicate button in Billbox, so I just made a bunch of copies. So let's go ahead, make our first group folder. Cool, grab a group folder. I'll say, uh, I'll say decorations, right? So let's say you, you got decorations and then you've got like, uh, okay, I also want another group folder. I want um, building, buildings. And then this one, or sorry, this one's gonna be buildings. We'll rename it buildings. Then we can do another group folder, another group folder, and we'll call it trees. You know, cause you might have some tree decorations. You might have some building decorations. You might have all kinds of different decorations and you might wanna grab, you know, put folders inside of folders. So I'll take these guys, these are my trees, put them in trees. I got my buildings here. I'll take my trees here and I can drag it and move it into decorations. And so now I've got, I've got two folders. I got buildings, uh, two folders and uh, buildings and trees. I've got them inside of, um, I've got them inside of decorations. And heck, I could even move trees inside of buildings and that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can do it. So you can have folders inside folders inside folders. Um, okay, cool. Um, next, Constantine Bimplis. Any insight on how I can create a double tap action for my character, please? Um, double tap action. Okay. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Give me, I need a second to think about that. Um, hmm. I know what you're saying. You're not asking if you can do like a double jump or you can like, not something like that. You want it to be like, you gotta tap it twice and then something happens. No, I do not know how to do that. I do not know how to make that. I'm going to request, I'm gonna make a request to the engineers um, and ask for that one because I think that's a great, uh, a great feature. There should be like a double tap feature like for controls right like you should be able to go here into your into your character's node map go to your controls and it should it, there should be touch double touch there should be a double touch um button like for that you have to like you know you got to go papa -pa, you know double tap okay good really good constantine um really good uh, uh question i'm gonna make a feature uh, request. I'm gonna. Uh, um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead um, and ask. I'm gonna go ahead and make just a note for myself here. Double tap feature request. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sorry. I'm just making a note of that because I think that's a great idea. Um, okay. Uh, next, Darky K. Uh, how to do this? Every time I click on the UI button speed increases plus 5%. Means I click first time, character speed will increase 5%. I click the second time, character speed uh, f plus 5%. All right, here's how you do that, man. All right, um, there's the this is the only way I, I know how, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out my crazy card tutorial game again because I feel like this is gonna be a very good way to, sh to teach this to you, a good example. Give me a second, it's loading up. All right, Billbox, 
is doesn't doesn't like me. Um, so we're gonna open up Build Box again. One second. I I always I always I always make Build Box break. I always try to uh, uh, do do things that Build Box doesn't like. Um, Okay, cool. You know what? I'm also gonna uh, download really fast and install BuildBox 3.3.11. Um, I could have sworn that I was actually already on this version, but I guess um, I, ha I, I have BuildBox on so many of my computers. I must have updated it already like three or four times. But um, let me uh, let me go ahead and do this real fast. It takes two seconds. Okay. Well, it should take two seconds. Okay, I'm 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 killing this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, setup is not complete. Exit setup, yes. All right, I'm just gonna use Pillbox three point three point ten. It's not a big deal. Um, not too many things changed. Okay, so um, better getting getting out my tutorial game again. Let's get back. Let's get back to it. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right. We need a UI button. First, we need a UI button that when we press it, it's going to sp increase the speed. Right. Okay. I don't have a super good UI button like on hand, uh, so I'm just going to make like a really basic blue button screenshot. Okay. So just like, you know, don't be don't be too hard on me here. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to be fast. So um, all right. So what we need is we need a control button. All right. Get a control button out. I'm going to take the image. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, this is our button. All right. I know it doesn't look great. Just, just bear with me. Okay. It's just an, it's just an example. All right. So this is going to be the speed up button. Speed up five percent button. Okay. All right. Now, um, now we got that hooked up. We go into our main vehicle. Okay. This is how we do this. We go here to controls. We go to, um, let's go to, I'm sorry, controls, go to UI button, hook up, enable it, enable the UI button. You guys, you guys should be able to see this okay. Hey, you know what? I think Buildbox got a little bit out of frame. Let me go ahead and make sure that everything, you guys can see everything again. Give me just a second, everybody. Just a second. Okay, and there we go. And then making this. Sorry, when when I exited out of exited out of Billbox, I realized that it resized itself, and you're not able to see everything as well as you were before. So I am sorry about that. Um, and let's get back on track. Okay, so we've got the UI button now in our nomad we need to hook it up to that control button that we just made okay so we're going to say all right when i hit this speed up five percent button i need it to i need it to do something now all right and the way we have it currently set up is right now um your speed increases by one percent per uh per point okay and so um, a speed percentage per point. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the logic here, okay? We're gonna say, all right, let's increase our speed percentage by 5% per point now, all right? This is gonna be 5% per point. And then, can you already guess? Can you already guess what I'm gonna do next? Like, can you like think, think about it, right? Like, think about logically, okay. So we're gonna increase the speed by 5% and we have this button that's gonna do something and we're increasing the speed by 5% every time we get a point. What do you think we're gonna do when we, get the, when we press that button? We're going to give the character a point because if we give the character a point, it's gonna, in, it's gonna increase the speed by 5%. So now we're gonna grab an add point node, okay? And I've never done this before. I'm just I'm just coming up with this on the fly. But this is like logically, this is what makes sense to me. So we're gonna add just one point, and then uh, let's let's go ahead and let's go. But I will say this: um, right now, I already have points 
um, in my game. So I'm a little bit worried that if I hit them, that's gonna like kind of mess with things. So I'm just gonna sort of, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of all of my points for right now. Um, yeah, just gonna delete them just for this example. So now I don't have any, any points on my game, but I do have that button. Okay, cool. So, all right, it's really hard to tell. Uh, it's really hard to tell. Let me go ahead and I will, um, I'll do this. I'll delete these scenes. I'll delete this scene. I'll delete this scene. I will duplicate this scene since it's a straightaway and I'll get rid of the car. All right, in the in the that first scene, so I just and then I'll rename the scene one. Okay, so now what you should see is you should see the car just going uh, like um, just going straight, right? Okay, now let's see if we can make this thing go faster and faster and faster and faster every single time we press that little button, right? So let's press it. All right, so it went a little faster. Okay, I press it again a little bit faster. I press it again a little bit faster and again. All right, now. Hell, I'm just gonna spam. I'm gonna spam it right now. Let's just see how fast we can get this thing going. All right, 12 points, 13 points, 14 points, 15 points, 16 points, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 30. We're going into the matrix. We're flying at a crazy speed. Where the car is hopping all over the road. We're gonna crash and it's gonna explode. Yeah. All right. That's how you speed it up. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, save this for you, and you can you can use this uh, as an example for um, how to speed up your game by five percent by pressing that button. So let me go ahead and save this for you. Give me a second, guys. I gotta I gotta share this. Uh, I gotta share this with you guys. Um, all right. So desktop. Um, all right. Speed game up by five percent with button click hopefully that's pretty clear it's a weird b it's a weird that's a super weird bb doc name um <laughs> i'll be honest but uh i think that'll work for you guys okay um all right let's go speed game up by five percent okay this bb doc shows how to speed up your game by five percent um by clicking a ui button sweet okay and uh i'm really sorry guys um i have kind of a busy day today so i can only um i can only do a live stream for about um another 14 minutes um it's 11 46 a.m right now uh and i'm gonna be on for about another 14 minutes i'm gonna try to knock out as many of these questions as i can and then i'm gonna try to do these live streams every week so uh, this is not I, so that you guys don't have to wait a long uh, wait a long time uh you know to get help also hit me up on discord please hit me up on discord so, and i'm totally down to help you guys with your games so okay here is um here is okay that's the speed up game right so i just shared that with you guys all right next question um <clears throat> for q a is there currently a way to purchase coins in bb3 for ios all right give me a second give me a second i gotta think about that i think there is i'm pretty sure yeah um basically um what you do is you use the purchase node and i, I don't have a store identifier and i can't set i can't set that up for you right away but i can give you an example so basically you would you know hook up the purchase node and then you said you wanted to add coins right so you want to purchase coins you just get grab an add coin node right and then you enable it and then you say okay i want you know a, a, a thousand coins you know i want to give when you purchase this you get a thousand coins um there's another way to do it too i think i think there might be multiple ways to skin a cat on this one uh purchase button remove ads no that one's not it that's not it that's not it um lock button is it function no no, I don't think that's the way you want to do it. 
I think I think the way I showed you is actually uh, the way you want to do it. Um, let me see here. Unlock button. On um, yeah. Yeah, I, I would um, I would just I would do it the way I just showed you. Just uh, use this purchase node. Um, take a look. Um, go to help. Go to the uh, go to the build box documentation to see how the purchase node works. I'll go ahead and also make a note for myself that I need to add a tutorial. Show I need to create a tutorial showing you guys how to use the purchase node. So okay, one second. I'm making a note of that. Okay, make tutorial on how to set a purchase node. Okay, um, but. But uh, you, uh, if you can figure out how to work, uh, until, I, until I get that done, if you can figure out how to use the purchase note through the documentation that I just showed you, through this build, build box documentation op option, um, uh, you can then add, add those coins, right? So that's how, that's how you would purchase coins um, in build box. So I just wanted to make sure I uh, made that clear. Okay, um, moving on. Um, okay, oh, is there a plan to uh, fix the set physics node? Currently, set physics node does not have the default physics options, mass, friction, etc. Um, okay, wooden pickle games. Uh, great suggestion. I, I I agree with you, man. We're trying. I'm trying to get to, to the point where, like, okay, for instance, like, let's look at um, <clears throat> uh, position animation, right? Okay. Um, or uh, is it rotation animation? Let's see here. Awesome. You know what? Okay, I, I uh, I'm glad that they um, that they added these randomization one these uh, randomization options set physics. Um, I because that was one thing that I was really wanting. Um, okay, cool. And they did the randomization options here as well, but. You do need more options here for the set physics. Okay, I see what you're. I see what you're saying. You need mass. You need friction. You need uh, like ex exactly. You could you could uh, b bounce. You know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe you want to. Heck, maybe you want to change the position factor or something, or the rotation factor all of a sudden, or you know, like any of those things. Okay, dude, good good point. Okay, man, I'm gonna um, I'm going to write that one down too. Okay, give me a second. Thank you, Wooden Pickle Games. I'm gonna I'm gonna just put in a feature request for that one. So give us give us time on that one, but I'll put a feature request in for that today. Um, okay, so make it so the set physics node includes all the best attributes like mass and friction and bounce and etc. All that stuff. We got to get all that in there. Good point, good point. Okay, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, um, next, uh, let's see here. Uh, is there a way to make a UV mapped image sequence get looped onto a, uh, on a 3D object? Yes, there is, and I think it's that texture scroller. I'll be honest with you, I'm not, a, I'm not like a whiz with the texture scroller uh, yet, but let me show you. Let me show you how you would do it. I think this is I think this is what you're talking about. I think this is what you're going for, right? So <clears throat> um let's see here. Can I see the texture? Okay, yeah. So this is a UV mapped image sequence, I think. Um I I don't maybe uh maybe what you're asking is can you loop a sequence? Um and um, well, I think you couldn't you just go like couldn't you just get an animation node um, an animation node and then as soon as you end the animation you you know you basically you start the animation again you do one of these guys right you get an endless an endless loop of animation so you'll do like you'll do you'll start up the animation and then as soon as the animation is done, you start the animation again. And as soon as the animation is done, you start the animation again. It just keeps going on and on and on forever and ever. So that's maybe one way that you could do it because you can drop in a, you've, you can drop a sequence, right, onto here. Now, do, but you're saying UV mapped and I feel like that, I feel like UV mapped means that it's like on a character or something, right? Like, doesn't that, isn't that what that means? Uh, I, I like, I'm almost positive. So, um, so I would say then your other option, if you're wanting to do something like that, 
is I would do a texture scroller, right? You'd use a texture scroller, and then I think this may be custom. Let me look, let me see, a texture. No, it's not. You can use a texture scroller. And I'd probably look up documentation on how to use the, the texture scroller. But um, uh, basically, um, you select your textures right here, right? So, okay, this is the example, right? So this is the texture. This is the color for the tech uh, for the uh, the texture on, on the texture, or um, the, and this is the uh, this is like or this is the color of the actual mesh, and then the texture is going to like reveal the color underneath, and then you can see. Let's go ahead, let's get a texture uh, and teleporter entry here in our scene, and let's let's stop the movement of the character, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that is uh, that is where you get this this whole business, right? Where the te the texture is is like a, a sequence that is getting looped, right? This is just getting looped over and over and over and over again. So maybe um, maybe that's what you're going for. I would either do it those two ways. That would to, to answer your question to the best of my ability, I would do it one of those two ways. I would either use the texture scroller or I would use an animation loop that is kind of like this one right here. Okay, cool, hopefully that hopefully that helps you. I know I didn't uh, give you a great example on that one, but I think I might have given you at least a, a, a start in the right direction. Um, all right, little tiny giant, yo, what's up? How to clean up the project. I have tons of unused assets, 3D models that don't disappear even if I deselect them with the yellow lock. Okay, here's how you do that. Here's how you do that, okay, look. I know it's really weird, but okay, so you go to your th uh, 3D model, right? Uh, go to your models, yada, 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 right? You go to your models, you, these, oh, dang it, I crashed again. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll send an airport. But, um, all right, give me a second, I gotta get build box up again, and then I will show you. All right, um, uh, crazy car tutorial. Okay, um, so let's see here. Okay, main vehicle, go into your uh, mesh manager. Okay, so this is how you do it. So you un you deselect them, right? Right. I will uh, I will get rid of like all these points. Uh, uh, get, I'll get rid of all these um, 3D models, right? And then I'll hit save. So then you go back here, and those models are no longer there. They're no more. They no. They're no longer locked. Then what you do is you save your game. You save your game, then you uh, exit out of the game, then you exit out of Billbox, you open up Billbox again. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you have to exit out of Billbox, okay? So you go back to your uh, you go back to your game, and you the software crashes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna set it this time, but uh, let's try this again. I have a feeling that this might be a problem because I'm using, uh, now I'm trying to use models that don't exist. Okay, all right, it didn't crash this time, sweet. So we go back to our models now, and oh boy, yeah. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'm just getting a lot of crashes right now, so uh, I'll look, I'll, you know what, little tiny giant, I will look into that. Um, I will let you know uh, what is going on with that, because, but like basically, like what you're supposed to be able to do is you're supposed to unlock those, right? And then, um, let's see here, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna try this game, Martian Marathon, right? And like, let's like let's do this. Like, I'm gonna use, oh man, I'm getting a lot of crashes right now. Um, uh, okay, all right, this is a, <laughs> <laughs> might be this might be my sign that I need to uh, in the, close the live stream off now and now that we're reaching uh, one hour here but um, <laughs> but let me um, let me try let me try my best to like actually show you this um, okay I'll, I'll, this is what I'll do I'll start off with a brand new 3d game let me resize the software uh, again for you guys I'm sorry I've just been every single time it crashes it uh, re I have to resize the software so it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain all right, here we go. 
getting the software in the frame for you guys again. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, if it, if I run into another crash again, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to gonna have to call it uh, here, um, and then I will, um, and then I'll I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, a little tiny giant. I'll I'll I'll, I'll get back to you um, on how to do it. But I did I did want to show you because I like I've done it before and it's worked. So okay, if, like for instance, right, like this hexagon, right? So I added the hexagon to my game, right? And I'll delete I'll delete this uh, this hexagon, right? But when I go here to my 3D models, right, mm -hmm. I look at my mesh, well, I still have the hexagon and I'm not and I'm not using it, right? And what your question is, is like, well, how do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of that OBJ if I'm not using it? It's like, it's kind of a pain that it's even there. So um, what you do is uncheck that, uh, that, that lock, save your game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game now. Uh, save it as example. So we'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. Example, um, getting rid of OBJs or models or whatever, you know, same thing. All right, now exit out of BuildBox. Let's try opening it again. I might have to resize BuildBox again. <laughs> um, ay, ay, ay. Okay, uh, let's go in here and whoa, instead of the cube, uh, wow, wow, okay. S okay, hold on. So now let's save it, I'll, let's save it as a cube. Maybe I accidentally selected it. Let me try this again, I'll save it. I'll try to, uh, try to exit out of here again. Let's see, let's see if I can get this to work. <clears throat> Almost really close. Very close. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, now go back here. Go to the meshes, and it's gone. Thank you. Okay, sorry that took so long, man. Uh, but I'm glad we ended on a on a high note. So I'll end I'll end here. But okay, so basically, what you have to do, the steps that you have to take, right? You have to, um, you have to. Uh, uncheck that model, right? Uncheck that lock button. And then you have to make sure that you're not still using the model anywhere else in your game because you could see that from my example that I accidentally selected the hexagon for my mesh for that character. And so when I exited out of the care, or when I exited out of my BB doc, it was actually still using that model. So it wasn't going to get rid of the model if it's still being used. So uh, what you do is you make sure that you're not using that model anywhere. You have to make app. You have to make absolute sure that you're not using it anywhere. Then you uncheck that little lock. You close. You save your BB doc. You close it and you open it back up, and it will be. It will be gone. Um, it will be. Uh, it will be. Uh, the the OBJ will be gone, and that's how you get rid of your unused um, objects. And then I think you already know um, how to get rid of your un unused images. Uh, so uh, let me give you an example here. So this is your atlases. If you're not using images, you simply just select your atlases. You do opt. You do optimize and rebuild, and it will it will get rid of unused. Um, it'll get rid of all get rid of all of your unused uh, PNG images, your your image, uh, your animation sequences, and all of that. Okay, guys. Um, sorry to you know cut it off. I've got a, I know I got a bunch more questions here, but uh, I gotta get I gotta keep working. I got I got more stuff I, I gotta get uh, on today. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the new features that we just released. Um, and uh, and uh, you you make good use of them. Have like you know have fun using them. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. I'm gonna try to make these live streams more regular so you don't have to wait so long before you we, we get to work with each other again um thank you guys so much uh look at the uh look at the publishing guides on discord participate in the tiktok please um happy april 1st um happy april 1st happy april fools try not to get uh too uh, fooled too hard uh today and uh yeah uh, keep on boxing boxes have a uh, have a good weekend all right bye